I got a great ab workout. This is awesome. It's not like anything you've seen uh, anywhere on television. <laughs> no, I swear to God. You know, you know the late night TV shows and the late night commercials. You know, you've seen the uh, the ab uh, ab flexor, abtronic, abdominizer, abtastic. That's not a real one. I just made that up, but I think I'm going to call mine abtastic. Do you know what the abtronic is? That's the little. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can say that on CBC. I don't know if I can sue, but it's a, little, it's a little belt, and you put it on, uh, uh, you got a little battery in there, and you put it on your belly, and you put a little gel in your belly, and it sends electronic impulses into your ab muscles and flexes them for you. So you don't have to. No effort on your part whatsoever. You could be doing anything. You could be washing the dishes. I'm washing the dishes and working out of the sink. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a bad one. <laughs> Get this thing off me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have my hands in water. It's probably a bad idea. No, my ab workout's much different. Here's what you do. You get up in the morning and you brush your teeth. And you brush your tongue. That's how you get bad breaths, when you don't brush your tongue. You know what I'm talking about? You, now, for those, you probably know this. For those of you who do brush your tongue, you'll know this. If you go too far back with a toothbrush, you hit that gag reflex. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, uh, all right. Well, your ab muscles, they tense right up. Have you noticed that? No effort on your part whatsoever. So here's what I suggest you do. Stand in front of a full-length mirror every morning, completely naked. It's more fun for everybody that way. And do that like 40, 50 times. Just a <laughs> Awesome workout. And do that every other day. Don't do it every day. Because if you do it every day, there's a thing called muscle memory. And after about seven days of doing that every day, that gag reflex will kick in like a hiccup. And you don't want that. You'd be like, you know, hey, Larry, you want to go for a beer? Come on, buddy. Or you're at the bar. Hey, would you like to dance? No, you're not ugly. It's hard to convince a girl she's not ugly when you're gagging at her, you know? No, you're beautiful. Oh, I, I you ever been at the bar and you're talking to a girl? Or a guy? Or it doesn't matter. No, no, it has to be a girl, sorry. So, just for the guys. Or the lesbians. Whatever. <laughs> well, you're talking to a girl and uh, everything's going great and uh, she's digging you and you're digging her and everything's just fantastic, you know, and you think you, this is it. This, is, this could be it, right? And then you yeah, go to take a drink and uh, you can't find your straw. <laughs> you just feel like a total dink. Yeah, boy, that dress really looks nice on you. I better look better all balled up at a big ball on my bedroom floor. <laughs> so, how about breakfast? Should I call you or nudge you? <laughs> Okay, I'll wait here. <laughs> you guys have been a very nice crowd. Thank you very much. Good night.